Welcome to ENN, your news source for everything George Jenkins. On today's episode, we have Jarrett with a student focus on a track student, Titus with a commercial on not being on your phone, and Eli with a future story on a running coach. ENN starts now. Physical activity is an important part of many students' lives. Whether it's push-ups at home or varsity sports, our egos take athleticism very seriously. No one embodies this spirit more than Grace Boatwright, who I decided to talk to today about her pursuits in cross-country and track. Um, both my parents are in track all the way through high school and college, and I have a lot of friends that joined the team my freshman year, so it just you know it seemed like a good idea at the time. Um, it's a really good way to stay in shape and make friends. It also prepares you for other sports. So if you're interested in like soccer, it's a good way to keep your endurance up. Um, I'm not a huge fan of meets, but I really like going to practice every day. So it's fine. <laughs> um, I would say anybody can run and don't be discouraged by the fact that we do a lot of mileage because you work your way up to it. Sounds like a very rewarding experience. Thank you to Grace for telling us more about her athletic endeavors. And I'm Jared from ENN, signing off. Boy, oh boy, I can't wait to play Five Nights at Freddy's the whole class period. No, sir. No, I, I, I wasn't on the game. I, I was texting my mom. Yes, sir, I'll go to the choice room. <laughs> At GJ, there are many sports that you can play, such as football, soccer, or even weightlifting. Track just recently started, so I interviewed a former SEU runner and now coach at Lake Willis, Caleb Willis. Let's go to him for the interview. My name is Caleb Willis. I went to Lake Willis High School, and then for college, I went to Southeastern University, which is in Lakeland, Florida. And my current occupation is I am one of the cross-country coaches at my former high school, as well as an academic coach. Um, my experience as a runner, and then specifically at Southeastern, was an experience just turbulent, I think I would say. Uh, a lot of lows, very few highs, but it was extremely rewarding still. Um, I never minded the lows because I loved what I was doing. I loved running. I loved my sport. I loved the people I was around. I talk about it being turbulent. I was very injury prone, and so I had a big injury my sophomore year of college. I had a couple big injuries, but this is the biggest. Um, I broke my hip, specifically fractured my neck of my femur, and it was very traumatic, you know, and it took probably a year of rehab till I started to be able to run for a minute. It was never the same, and it'll never be the same, but I've come to terms with that, and I love my job and what I do. I love coaching. Uh, and most of that love, you know, I knew I wanted to do it, but that deep love I have for it now actually came from this injury, and so it helped me in my current job. You know, I think one piece of advice I'd have for anyone who's new to the sport, or just to sports in general, but specifically running, is just look for any little victory or improvement that you can. You know, when I first started running, I couldn't run half a mile without stopping. You know, and in my peak, I could run 13, 14 miles nonstop. You know, if I slowed down, I could go farther, right? And that was just showing up every day, you know, buying into my coach's program and what he was giving me. That's one of the most important things is trusting your coach. Thank you, Caleb, for telling us about running. I'm Eli, reporting for ENN. All right, Eagles, that's it for today's episode of ENN, and this is Landon signing off. Any student 16 or older wanting to apply to Travis Technical College and attend there as a high school student needs to apply through Parent Portal. Travis has changed their application process and it is now done through the open enrollment window, which will end on February 18th. Seniors, make sure to check your school email for important information regarding cap and gown pictures. You must sign up through the link provided in the email. There's only one day that Leonard's will be on campus, and if you have any questions, please email Ms. Solis at jessica.solis at polk-fl.net. Anyone interested in trying out for the 2022-23 season wind dancers? There's a mandatory informational meeting Friday, February 11th at 7.15 in the food court. Applications will only be distributed at this meeting. Young Life meets every Friday morning at 6.30 a.m. in room 1215. 
George's Closet Foundation meets every first and third Thursday in room 2115. Stop by to earn some service hours. Come show off your talents at this year's Teacher Student Talent Contest. It will be held January 27th in the school auditorium. Miss Florida Leah Roddenberry will join Coach Mays as they host this year's competition. Also come out to meet our special guest judge, Miss Florida's outstanding teen, Ruby Tillingham. Sign up in room 1215. Chess Club will meet in Mr. McNeil's room after school on Tuesdays and Thursdays. 